Hello uh, and welcome to our FLA front room here. Um, this is Kato Tool, chairperson of the Galway Film FLA. And this is Will, our wonderful programmer. Thanks. <laughs> um, we imagine that it's from a space much like this that you'll all be joining us for the FLA this year, from your own front rooms, the comfort of your sofa, um, watch movies on your laptop in bed if you like, not that I uh, recommend oh, that I, personally. I do. You do? Oh, okay. Yes. Like to watch documentaries on a Sunday morning from the, the comfort of yeah. bed? Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Um, we have a lot that we want to tell you about um, and we're excited to get into it. But first, here's some of our friends that also have something to say. Hi there. My name is Bruna Gallagher and I would like to just wish everybody involved in the Galway Film Fla this year all my very best of love and luck for the few weeks coming ahead. We went there last year with a bump along the way and my co-star Lola picked up Best Newcomer and we also picked up Best First Feature Film at the FLA and we had such an extraordinary, enjoyable few days there. It really is one of the jewels of Irish festivals. I want to wish all the organisers the very best of luck and a smooth few weeks ahead. For all of you watching online, I wish you pleasurable, enjoyable experiences watching this extraordinary collection and selection of Irish film and documentary that's on show this year. And just to say, stay safe and look after each other and see you on the other side. This is for Nuala Flanagan on show. I congratulate Miriam and all her staff for managing to make the FLA happen this year under very difficult circumstances. I haven't missed it in years and of course I'll be there. I hope you will be too. Difficult times in which we live but we're surviving and the fact that the FLA will take place to support all the Irish filmmakers is a wonderful thing and I'm sure a great deal of work had to go into this. But congratulations to you all. I hope I'll see you there in one form or another. Hello all at Galway. Miss you this year. We need a break from the old drinking and the boat house anywhere, the boat club, whatever it's called. Um, missing the energy and the, the excitement before premiere outside the, the courthouse or the townhouse there. And uh, meeting everyone meeting all of the, the people who've made their work and the the volunteers and the short films and the the programmers and just the buzz but irish film isn't going anywhere we're taking a little little break but uh cheers to you you're fantastic have a great festival hi everybody greetings from connemara it's not just mo that's going to miss meeting you all at the fla this year we will but thankfully, we have a marvellous lineup of films and events so we can all stay connected. We've been on a very big journey since March this year, and I personally want to thank the FLA team, Cathy O'Connor, Debbie McVeigh, Annette May, Heather Mackey, of course Will, but last and not least, Barbara Victonica, our technical <clears throat> manager who has shown us that anything is possible. Now, enough about us. I'm going to pass you back over to Kate, who will talk about our funders and sponsors who, has, who have also helped keep this show on the road. It is my great honour and privilege to mention all our sponsors this year, without whom none of this would be possible. We have the Arts Council, we have Galway 2020, Screen Ireland, which was originally the Irish Film Board, a very important organisation for Irish film, which was reinstated by our current president, Michael D. Higgins, when he was the Minister for Arts. So Screen Ireland, um, Creative Europe Media, TG Cahar, another organisation which Michael D. Higgins founded when he was still in government, um, Fulcher Ireland, Northern Ireland Screen, Screen Skills Ireland, Galway City Council and RTE Supporting the Arts. Now, as usual this year, although it's not a physical festival, we are having our usual events. We're having a lot of panels. The members who will be sitting on the panels will be introduced shortly. We have the film market, as always, the business end of things. We have the pitching competition, my favourite thing. 
Um, but this year, I have to say, I'm even more excited because I'm going to be interviewing the long, tall, gorgeous, cool drink of water that is the superb actor, Keith Carradine. I can't wait. He comes from a theatrical family. His parents are in the business, his brothers also. And in his spare time, he writes beautiful tunes and ballads. And this year, he has been very kind to allow us use some of his music in our trailer, which you're going to see now. Don't do me favors, let me watch you from a distance. Because when you're near, I find it hard my head and when your eyes throw light at mine it's enough to change my mind make me leave my cautious words and ways behind that's why I'm easy yeah I'm easy say you want me I'll come run without taking time to think because I'm easy I'm easy Take my hand and pull me down I won't put up any fight Because I'm easy Yeah, I'm easy Give the word, I'll play your game As though that's how it ought to be Because I'm easy How great to see all the treats that are being lined up for us this year. The man with the plan is Will. He's the programmer, he's put it all together and he can tell you a lot more about it than I can. So Will, it's over to you. Thanks Kate. Uh, yeah, that was just a taster. There's so much more to come. Um, we'll wade into it a little bit further. Uh, this is by no means a deep dive, but I'm just going to talk to you about the program a little bit. Um, when this counter that you see on screen uh, gets down to zero, all of these films will be available to browse and to book at GalwayFilmFla.com. Uh, so we've got crime dramas from Dublin, we have mystery thrillers from Sligo, historical drama from Connemara, and dark comedy from Cavan. Um, the order of the day at the Fla is always New Irish Cinema, and we're kicking off with a new Irish documentary called The Eighth. This is an emotional punch of a film from directors Maeve O'Boyle, Aideen Kane, and Lucy Kennedy, following just some of the leaders and activists uh, from the Together for Yes campaign. Uh, also on our opening night, we have the indie comedy Poster Boys uh, from director Dave Minogue, about a down-on-his-look uh, merchandiser tasked with looking after his nephew for the weekend, and hilarity ensues. Uh, we have The Winter Lake uh, from director Phil Sheeran, from a script by Dave Turpin, who also wrote The Lodgers, and it stars uh, Sex Education's Emma Mackey, Game of Thrones' Michael Michael Hatton, uh, Charlie Murphy, Anson Boone, and loads more. Um, let's see, we also have Owen Mackin's latest feature, Here Are the Young Men, based on the book by Rob Doyle. Uh, this one's brimming with young um, Irish and UK acting talent. Uh, we also have Redemption of a Rogue. Uh, this is a highly original, blackly comic uh, Irish film from director Philip Doherty and the first feature from producers Emma Foley and Tamarine Rennick also. Uh, it's about a prodigal son, as played by Aaron Monaghan, who uh, returns home to his family home in Cavan, carrying his own noose in his bag. Oh no, damn it. What? I'm not gonna waste the good pizzas. It's not a bit disrespectful or something. Freezing our father with frozen pizzas. I think it's quite apt, actually. Continuing with the first features, uh, we have the Irish-Lithuanian co-production called The Castle. This is from uh, first feature director Lena Luzite. Uh, we also have the Irish premiere of Natalie Biancheri's Nocturnal. Um, this is her dramatic uh, debut as a director. It stars Cosmo Jarvis, who people will remember from Calm With Horses, and the Irish actress Lauren Coe. Uh, we also have uh, Paddy Slattery's Broken Law, uh, which joins a couple of other festival favourites that premiered just before the pandemic hit, um, but had their distribution plans um, cut short by everything that happened. So we've also got uh, Peter Mackie Burns' Rialto, 
Uh, we have Rose Plays Julie from directors Joe Lawler and Christine Malloy. Um, and we have uh, Tomasa Sullivan's film Aracht, um, a famine set drama uh, set in Connemara. Ma tatu er iri skan an ingoelga, an shin bikinche arach the ekol, ak freshen bikinche the tribe of gods the ekol kuma, chlorofashnishen nua e fui winter tori island. The tribe of gods is from director Loic Jordan, who people might remember from his documentary A Turning Tide in the Life of Man. Uh, this documentary focuses on life on Tory Island and the last days of its king, Patsy Dan Rogers, as he continues fighting for islanders' rights. Other documentaries include the latest film from Pat Collins. Um, Henry Glassy Fieldwork is a beautifully immersive and meditative documentary uh, following the travels of the American folklorist Henry Glassy, uh, including um, his time spent in Ireland. The North Dakota Entrapment Tapes is the latest uh, journalistic expose doc from director Trevor Burney, who uh, people will know as the producer of films like Mea Maxima Culpa and No Stone Unturned. Um, and sticking stateside, um, we also have the world premiere of The Sheriff from director Grace Sweeney, uh, which is a sort of microcosm of Trump's America uh, as played out in the local sheriff elections in Maryland and North Carolina. The change from Chuck Jenkins to Carl Bibble is the biggest swing that I can help make in our local area. Of course, this plays into all the other drama that's playing out in American politics right now. USA! USA! Americans are being killed by people who are in this country illegally, and Americans have had enough. And as a sheriff who takes my obligation seriously, I'm gonna do everything I can to protect them. Uh, so we all know Galway uh, is European capital of culture in 2020 and even though a lot of large-scale projects uh, couldn't take place because of the pandemic this year, we're glad to say that the Galway Film Class project Peripheral Visions is still going to take place as part of our program online. Uh, Peripheral Visions is a new European film competition co-curated by 12 different European film festivals from uh, places like Reykjavik, Hamburg, Gijon, uh, you know, Finland, uh, and even in French-speaking Canada. Um, we've all collaborated to co-curate this event. Uh, there will be a 3,000 euro prize for the winning film. And the idea is uh, to showcase European cinema uh, from the periphery in Europe. Uh, the competition includes conceptual documentaries from Poland and Finland, uh, ethno-fiction doc from Spain, a surreal French comedy about sex and the reproduction cycle of fish, um, and a Russian gangster drama directed by a former ballet dancer. Uh, there's also a biopic of French war correspondent and habitual cigar smoker Paul Marchand set in the 1992 uh, siege of Sarajevo. Uh, that's just a smattering. There's so much more uh, drama, documentary, and animation from Japan. Uh, we have new queer cinema from Germany and Sweden. A documentary from Kenya, horror from Canada. Um, it's all going to be available uh, when this countdown reaches zero at GalwayFilmFla.com. Uh, but before I continue, here's a bit of a musical treat from some of our composers this uh, year at the FLA. Hey, I go to Margaret Will, I guess Kate, I guess Tomish Compisa Kyoli Hyantar Banum, Kunda Fargashias. This piece is used for the film Art. When you're finishing off after you've seen it, and while the credits are rolling, you'll hear Kunda Fargashis.
Okay, I guess I can only live one so doesn't fly, fly, fair, fast can on. You know, can you enjoy the fly, lads? Just be uh, an art festival, a wonderful festival. Can only live slow. Da, lovely. That was beautiful. Thanks again, guys. Um, so the time is almost here. All of our films are about to become available to browse and to book at GalwayFilmFly.com. Even though we can't all be together in the cinema, we're still all in this together. So post your questions, uh, use hashtag FilmFla to talk to the directors, ask your questions, uh, share your answers. Um, it's all online, but crucially, remember that tickets are still limited. So book early, book often. Um, once you book, you'll be able to watch across multiple devices, uh, as we said earlier, from the comfort of your own couch, wherever it is you like to watch films. Um, we'll be there with you, hashtag FilmFla. Yeah, so pull up a screen, any screen, pull up something nice to drink, and lean back. Cheers. Cheers. And enjoy. Slancha. See you at the flower. See you next month.